Welcome back. Dude, check it out. It's quick. Just like Quigville from the Sonic Gym. From Whoa. The Chris Channel <laughs> you almost got me on that one. It's gonna get Whoa. Oh, there you go. Two of them, Ted. Two of them. Two of them. Whoa. Now, Tanner, how much do you know about Chris Chan? Literally nothing. Really? I think he's... He, he's like trans now. That's right. And he likes Sonic. The Viking Sonic is an understatement, Tanner. That dude loves Sonic, bruh. He once pepper sprayed a GameStop employee because they had like a picture of Sonic in there, but his arms were blue instead of the pale that they normally are. Okay. So he got really upset about that. <laughs> was that... Was that like... Framed or... No, he literally did that. Like, set up, or did he get arrested? Uh, I don't know if Chris Chan has ever gotten arrested for anything. Um, I know that he has, police have had to talk to him before, because he would harass this, uh, game store employee of a store that he got kicked out of. Well, it's Rastners. Never what do we need to know about Rastners? Arrested. I Something do not else. recall. Right? There was something about Rastners. Yeah. Something important. Oh, here we go. Chris on the law. It's on the Chris Chan Quickie. The Quickie is your uh, source of all Chris Chan news. Uh, as of 2017, Chris has six misdemeanors. Three from hitting Michael Snyder with his car. Uh, that was the whole uh, that was the whole game store thing I was talking about. Michael Snyder is the dude who owns that place. Uh, he... he, he. This doesn't sound funny at all. This guy just sounds like a freaking he's a, criminal. He's a menace, Tanner. Christian yeah. is a menace. Is that the joke? That people are like, man, this guy shouldn't be around anymore? So, alright. Here, here's like, the, where's the bit? Here's the whole thing about Chris Chan, Tanner. Uh, Chris Chan has just been mercilessly bullied by uh, trolls for so many years now. It sounds like he deserves it. <laughs> Like initially, like he's out. He's out here committing actual crimes. Initially, he was just like, just a, like not a normal dude, but like he definitely didn't deserve all the hate he got. But over time, he really started to deserve it an awful lot. <laughs> I think that's just from all the psychological torment that's been put onto him. It really just goes to show I how, think the fame how far someone was can at. get pushed. Where the heck? All right, so that's where I came from. Oh, was this whole area a side thing? Um, maybe. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Where's my map? Oh, okay, so that's that way. Oh. He also oh, got for some, uh, he got some misdemeanors for failing to acquire proper tags for his dogs. Um, in 2018, it, uh, a new misdemeanor was added to the list for trespassing after being, uh, forbidden from the Charlottesville Fashion Square. After a whopping 11 continuances, he was placed on a therapeutic docket. What is therapeutic docket, Tanner? I, I couldn't tell you. Let's learn about therapeutic docket. Well, uh, we'll come back to Chris Chan in a second here, don't you worry. Uh, the therapeutic docket in Albemarle in Charlottesville is a court diversion program for offenders diagnosed with serious and persistent mental illness. Chris Chan is autism, by the way, Tanner. Uh, which offers routine meetings with courthouse staff and mandated participation in therapy programs as an alternative to jail. Mm. There you go. So that's what that's all about, you boy. Look, it's Mitsuru Aiba. He's 176 indeterminate take units. Take a picture of him. Take a, take a quick little pic of that man. Uh, also, ever since that year... He has been repeatedly sued for failing to pay debt. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Since I'm guilty, severe. Um. Seen how Chris has served only a small amount of jail time. Oh, he has served jail time in the past. There we go. Well, that's good at least. Uh. Okay, looks like that might be the last case. For him doing illegal things. What's is Christian still doing stuff now? Yes, he started to make a card game. Based based on Sonic. Yeah, based on Sonic. 
Do you know who Sonic 2 is? <laughs> I'm going to guess it's his OC. It is his OC. It's uh, it's the fusion of Sonic and Pikachu. It is the Ultra Hedgehog oh, Pokemon. I think I've seen that. Thing. Yeah. God. They, people should stop enabling this kid. <laughs> They're not. Near. They're, they're doing more harm to him than good. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely true. He has been the subject of so much torment, dude. But I mean, hey, I think he's grown into deserving at this point. You know. And that's all that him. really matters. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he smoked one cigarette in the past, Tanner. <laughs> that's on the quickie. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What is this? What are you? What are you? It's a gas generator. Huh. How do I stop? Apparently, he uh, he feels as though he's only been targeted due to his love quest efforts. His voice. And not because he was targ raging. So here's one. Here's another big thing about Chris Chantana. Here's another big part of the Chris Chan saga. Hold on, we we only got like a minute or two left in this episode. You want to hang off on Chris Chan until next? Until you got later. it, man. You got it. Hulu successfully downloaded update, Tanner. Oh, it's fi it's the fist guy, by the way. Yeah. This is like an important moment. What? Okay. Oh, we're yeah, go we're losing. Gotcha. He's that guy's dead. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm he's dying. gonna do a finisher. Oh, he's gonna snap he's gonna, his neck. He's gonna do a Bane thing, dude. If only he had a knee to actually. Oh, he's gonna vor him, Tanner. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I. Uh, he. Whoa. <laughs> Just absorbed him. Yeah. What would. His legs are dangling out. <laughs> 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 What? Uh, next episode, boss fight. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.